Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick review while I'm here at the 2021 Chicago Auto Show. This is the first major auto show in over a year and a half. So being uh, Madison night, you know, I figured I'd do the two hour drive, drive down to Chicago, visit the Windy City and uh, get some cool videos to show you guys. So I'm gonna show you guys some of the coolest cars in my opinion that have come out um, in the last year or are coming up in the next year. The theme for this auto show has really been EVs. So I wanna show you guys a lot of the most cool ones. You'll see behind me here, I have the Ram uh, you know, and the actual, the, the Jeep test tracks over here. So those are always really fun and really cool. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go and show you guys some of my favorite cars. All right, so what you guys have here is the Jeep test track. I think they call it Camp Jeep. They show you the capabilities of, you know, their very famous off-roading Wrangler Rubicons. And you've got a really cool tall, I believe it's a 38 uh, degree incline on that one over there. And Really fun experience for those of you who haven't been on a Jeep before, you know, haven't been off-roading on a Jeep. All right, guys, we're going to go to the Ford exhibit first and check out the new F-150 Lightning. I think that's something that everyone's looking forward to. All right, so here we have the most important Ford vehicle coming up. 2022 F-150 Lightning, gorgeous car. I really wish the uh, hood was down so that you could see the light bar in the front fascia. It looks incredibly good. 300 miles of range on the extended pack. Looks really nice. This is estimated to start at about $40,000 for the lowest trim. Pretty much just going to be a workhorse at that point, but you'll get some of the better creature comforts when you move up to the higher trims, like this one right here is the Lariat. And uh, yeah, it's supposed to be able to power a, uh, a full household for three days. Pretty incredible piece of engineering here. Here is the Ford GT. I didn't even know they would have one here. Looks gorgeous, love the back. Here is the Mustang Mach 1. Look at those brake lights. <laughs> Moving right along, we've got the Mach-E GT. This is not actually out yet. We get a little glimpse here. Looks really incredible. As you guys can see, Ford is really killing it right here. You've got the Bronco, the full one, the large one, the body on frame truck, instead of the Bronco Sport, which you can actually see over there. You've got the actual Bronco here. Really gorgeous car. Humongous, humongous tires right there. It looks so nice from the front. And right here, you've got the 2022 Ford Maverick. So many vehicles coming up in Ford's lineup that are really impressive. You've also got the new Raptor here. Looks fantastic. All right, moving on from Ford, we've got Honda with a oddly desolate display here. I don't know what happened. I don't know if Acura is supposed to bring some vehicles or if half the Honda vehicles just didn't make it. Uh, to be fair, Honda doesn't have too much to show off. I honestly feel like they are really falling behind in the game here. The Toyota display, as you'll see, is a lot larger than this. Really, the only thing they have going for them is the fully redesigned 2022 Civic, which I've heard good things about. Personally, I don't think it's the greatest looking, very tame design, um, but it is fully redesigned and the interior looks a lot better than the previous generation, but I still feel like it is falling behind its competitors. All right, moving on to Chevy here. Not too many exciting cars for their lineup, but we do have the 2022 Bolt EUV and EV. That's kind of exciting. Still not the most attractive uh, car in this segment in my opinion, but a good effort from Chevy in my opinion. You've got the C8 Corvette over here. Kind of the star of the show still. A whole almost two years after it was actually been revealed. Still a gorgeous looking mid-engine car. You can see Chevy brought back the Trailblazer name in a subcompact SUV. Weird choices, honestly. My favorite thing that Chevy has done, if you guys have watched my previous reviews, you have seen the Chevy Tahoe and Suburban. Looks so good. Wish they had some Cadillacs here. I would love to see the Escalade in person. All right, going to the Subaru section. Kind of similar to Honda. Nothing much to show off this year, honestly. All their vehicles feel very stale at this point, in my opinion. 
You've got the Outback Wilderness on display here. Kind of the only thing they have going for themselves. Oh, and they have the Puppy Pit, which is always kind of exciting. You get a play of some puppies, sponsored by Subaru. Pretty neat gimmick to get people to get your car. You've got the Supercar Gallery over there, as you guys can see. Bentleys on display, Aston Martins, Lamborghinis, all that cool stuff. I honestly don't care about them too much and you can't really get too close to them, so not the most exciting thing. We've got Lincoln right over here. We've got the gorgeous Aviator on display. Navigator, still one of my favorite cars I've ever driven. A really nice red Aviator up here. All right, coming up to Volkswagen. An exciting lineup coming up for their next model year. The ID4 right here looks gorgeous. We also got the Atlas Cross Sport over there. Tiguan. The Arteon's back here as well. The ID4 is definitely the star of the show this year. Starting at about 40K. Typical range figures, about 300 miles, as you expect from most EVs in the market right now. And on display next to the ID4, you've got the Taos. Their subcompact SUV, smaller than the Tiguan. Pretty cool car here. Definitely going to be a hit for Volkswagen. One thing I was kind of disappointed about is I thought I'd be able to see the 2022 uh, Mark 8 Golf, but little did I know it was only for the press day, so wasn't able to see the GTI or the R, some of my favorite looking cars of the upcoming generation. In the back here you've got the RT on, it's still I think one of the most gorgeous styled sedans, but just not, not the greatest interior exciting little BMW booth here where you can see they're really into their new uh, you know giant grill. <laughs> you've got the M4 here, M4 competition, and you've got the star of the show, the iX. Gorgeous car. Also the same 300 estimated miles of range. Um, this one starts at a whopping $85,000 here. So you've got the giant grill as well. I, I kind of think it looks a little better with the um, you know electric side of things not requiring an actual vent, but still not my favorite design in the world. All right, going to Lexus, a personal favorite of mine since I drive one as a daily driver. UX hybrid right here. We've got the 2022 NX. This is definitely going to be a hit. Very excited for this car to hit dealerships. Really hoping I can review it. Look at that giant screen in the middle. 14 inches. That is only on the upgraded trims though. The lower trims still get an impressive 10 inch display. Um, still a very gorgeous car. I'm gonna hit the tailgate here. I just wanna show you guys the back of this. Looks really, really nice. Love the light bar in the back. This is the highest trim, 450H plus. We've got an RCF here. Pretty cool car as well. We've got the LC500 over there. The non-convertible and the convertible. Very hot cars. People are always impressed when they see this. The convertible, they did a great job. Made it look really good. Another big star here. The hotly anticipated 2022 IS500 with the quad exhaust in the back. Light bar. I really like Lexus's new styling. I think it's really good. I might be a little biased. I think it looks fantastic. Remember, this is F Sport performance. Different from F Sport and different from F. Very confusing. Naturally aspirated V8. Pretty cool. Enthusiasts are going to love this car. We've got Nissan next here. The Nissan Aria. Awesome car. 300 miles of range as well, starting about 40K. You guys can see that's really the theme with electric cars. Really nice front fascia. Looks very similar to the Rogue. I really like it. They did a great job with this. All of their lineup is uh, getting very impressive. <laughs> We've got the new Armada there as well. And of course the star, the Z Proto right here. I really hope the production model has the Fair Lady Z uh, badging on it as well. Pretty cool. I have to say, I am not a fan of the looks of this car. Maybe if I see it in a different color, I might like it, honestly. But I do not like the headlights and I still don't like the front fascia. I think it looks kind of weird. I don't know. It's not the biggest fan of it. We've also got the new Pathfinder. The back looks fancy. All the cars are going towards spelling out the model name like that. And I love it. I think it looks very fancy. Kia, a star here. 
You've got the Carnival, their MPV. Don't call it a minivan, they'll get mad at you. Looks really, really nice. You've also got the new Sorento. Looks gorgeous. And I love the new Kia logo. Looks very fancy. So I don't really know why they couldn't just use the one that they use in Asia, though. I feel like that one looks fancier. Maybe it's too similar to Lexus. We've also got the Seltos here. Popular subcompact car. Really attractive. Good competitor to the Volkswagen Taos. And then the famous EV6. This is probably, I think I've decided, this is my favorite car of this coming year. It looks fantastic. 300 miles of range, starts about 40K. We've got a performance edition coming up as well. Super fun. Very close numbers to the Tesla Model Y. It's gonna be a really good competitor. Looks better, in my opinion, way better. And this is expected in early 2022. I think this is gonna be a hot car. Kia's been really killing it. Just the interest you can see. So many people at this exhibit. And we've got the Stinger GT here. Always exciting. Still one of the most gorgeous, affordable sports sedans. And then the 2022 Telluride. What a gorgeous car. Right here. Fantastic car. Looks so nice on the inside. More luxurious than most of the other competitors in the segment. We've got the Nightfall Edition here. Blacked out name. Blacked out wheels. Gorgeous car. Here's a 2021 Auto Show debut. The 2022 Corolla Cross. I don't really understand the point of this vehicle. I guess it's meant to compete with things like the CX-30. Crosstrek, things like that. It looks nice, but I feel like I wish they just came up with a different name than the Corolla Cross. You've got the very famous Supra. It's a hit for sure. And this one I'm pretty excited for. It's a prototype of the GR86 coming up. Honestly, it, it looks good, but I just don't really know what the point of this is if they didn't really change it too much. Still got a boxer engine and everything like that, but yeah, looking forward to them adding some more high performance changes to this in the future. All right, closing off here, we've got Jeep, Dodge, Ram, Chrysler, all of those. Really, I think what I'm most excited for is the Wagoneer. They've got a huge exhibit here about the Wagoneer, the Grand Wagoneer. Awesome car, very loud here. Beautiful Grand Wagoneer right here. Unfortunately, this one you can't seats. open, but if you guys are over here you can. Console, this is just the normal Wagoneer. It's also got the Grand Cherokee L over there. It's a super gorgeous they also interior. Have the 75 inches of high resolution screens on board. That Very impressive. Color touch screen display center stack right there. You get the latest in the fifth generation U Connect. So you'll have your wireless Apple CarPlay and your Android Auto. All right, guys, that's a wrap for my auto show experience today. Saw a bunch of really cool vehicles. It's a little smaller than normal. Usually you'll have more brands like Audi, Mercedes. Honestly, this video would be super long if I could review every single brand that I like out there. But uh, this was super fun. Highly recommend showing up if you are ever in the Midwest area, in the Chicago area. I've done this every year for the past, like, what, four years or so now? And uh, it's always a blast. I really, really enjoy it. Um, and yeah, see you guys in the next video.